until there is some way to verify the authenticity of any particular formation or any particular crop circle, there will always be the argument or the suspicion that, well, that was man-made, and that's not a real one, that's a fake one. There's always this back and forth constantly because people just don't want to deal with what it means to say it's real and we don't know what makes it. We don't know where it's from and we don't know how it's made. It's just too difficult. It's called dealing with the unknown. I don't even like talking about hoaxing because it's such bullshit. Can you say it on the web? Bullshit? Yes, you can. <laughs> to hoax a crop circle, there's a few requirements that have to be met. One is it has to be done at night because the, the whole idea is that you're fooling people. So you have to do it at night. You have to do it all at once because you can't leave one half finished because people see it the next day. If they see a half finished crop circle, they'll know, they'll know somebody's making it. And you have to finish by early morning because in the summertime, the crappies are out there at four o'clock in the morning driving around looking for new crop circles. So basically you have five hours to make it in the dark, perfect, no mistakes, and uh, without getting caught. Most of the time when people fake things, there's a payoff. There's some kind of a payoff. There's recognition, there's acknowledgement, there's profit. Faking crop circles has none of those. So why do it? And sure, maybe do it once, but 200 a year, every year, it just, it doesn't make any sense.